So you've got a big event coming up trying to get folks outside and using their hands. What is this event all about? It's a family camp out. It's the first one we've offered. And they're going to join me where I'm going to teach them how to set up a tent that their entire family can sleep in. It'll be a four person tent. So they have a bigger family. We'll have two tents. They are going to learn how to cook over a fire. We're going to learn how to build a fire, cook over the fire, s'mores, hot dogs, popcorn. I'm going to make a breakfast casserole and a Dutch oven on top of the fire in the morning. And then hopefully we're going to get to do some kayaking. So it'll be a really fun family event. I was about to say, a full day of family and, and outside and outdoors. For the folks who are like, ooh, I don't know if this is what I want to do, why do you encourage them to come out and try it? Because when else are you going to get the opportunity? You don't have to have your own equipment. We do provide thin sleeping pads. If you want an air mattress, bring an air mattress, bring all your bedding. But we provide the tent, we provide the pads, we're providing the cooking gear. So if you're not sure about it and you just want to try it out, Come try it out, and it's in the middle of Jackson. So if you are like, this is not for me, and you want to go home, you should be pretty close to home if you live in the metro area. Right, so you want how many people to come? Or is there a limit to how many folks show up? I have 20 tents, so okay. uh, originally we wanted them all filled. I have about nine to 10 of them filled right now. So right. if people want to sign up today, we would welcome them to come out and join us. Awesome, so now you think about getting folks outside, because that's what you know, a lot of people are not trying to do, especially Memorial Day is coming up as well, the weekend and all these things. But why should we just go for these trips like this? You know, why, why get in the kayaks? Why try and touch nature, touch trees and things like that instead of, like, you know, doing other things? Because it makes lasting memories and there's nothing better than sunshine, which I can't guarantee we'll have this weekend. <laughs> but just being outside in the sun, Enjoying nature is one of the most amazing experiences they could have. Gotcha. And if people have never been to the state park before, this is also an opportunity for them to find it, right? Correct. <laughs> All right. So it is happening there. And then what time do they need to get there? 5.30 p.m. on Friday night. Okay. And we want them checked in by 6 o'clock because there is a gate that someone will have to let them through. And then we'll go until about 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Awesome. So now pitching a tent is also something that a lot of folks don't know how to do, including myself. So you're going to teach us this morning. Yes, I am. Okay. So now here's the information of exactly where you need to be and what you, what you can do. And uh, is there a website you want to send folks to to get them all signed up? It'll be reserve.mdwfp.com. All right. So now when we're pitching a tent, you and I, we are having a moment right now. Where are we going? I, I just want to make it a whole thing. Where are we going in our magical world? You want a magical world, or yeah, you want to go to Lafleur's Bluff State Park? Okay, let's go to Lafleur's Bluff State Park. All right, so we're here on Friday night, and then what do we do? We're going to open our tent, and this one has a footprint at the top. So this can be a tarp, anything you're going to put on the ground under your tent to keep your tent away from moisture on the ground. You want it to be slightly smaller than your tent, and if it's bigger, we're just going to tuck the edges under our tent so the rain doesn't get in our tent. Okay. So yeah, you just spread it out. All right. And then we have our tent rolled up from the last time we used it. Mm -hmm. so we're just going to roll it out. And is it crazy to you that a lot of folks don't know how to pitch a tent still? No. Because unless you're in one of the scouting programs, a lot of times you're not going to learn that or you don't have a family that enjoys going camping. Mm -hmm. So this is the rain fly, which we're just going to pull off. So we don't need it yet. Okay. And those are our poles, which is what's going to give our tent structure. Okay. And this is one thing, everything that people are going to do this uh, Friday is going to be yes. just like this. This is only a two person tent, so it's smaller than okay. the tent they'll have on Friday, but very similar concept. So they're going to put their poles together. And a lot of people might have done this before, before the poles were as easy as they are now. Mm -hmm. If you haven't tent camped in a while, check it out with a new tent. It's easier than you would expect. Yes. And now what are the activities? I know you said kayaking is going to be one of the things, pitching a tent. Is there anything else they're going to see? Um, the fire, and then we're encouraging people to bring their own fishing gear if they want to. Okay. It is Mays Lake, which is known for fishing right along the Pearl River. So then we've got the uh, pole snapped in up here. We're just going to put it on each end. Okay. There's a black piece that the ball from the pole snaps into. It's supposed to be in like this? Yeah. Okay. You can tell I don't be outside all the time. <laughs> oh. 
suchen. Okay. And you just keep doing it all the way around. Yep. Okay. Oh, and who taught you how to do this? Who was the first person to take you outside? I was a Girl Scout. Okay. And would you encourage other people to get into Girl Scouts, Stanley? I really enjoyed it, especially since my mom did not like camping. Okay. She would go if we got to stay in a cabin. <laughs> okay. That's my type of camping, too, a little bit. But I like to do both. All right. And then that's you it. have the structure of your tent. Yes. For this weekend, we're going to need our rain fly. Mm hmm And we just slide this over the top. Slide it over the top. Spread it out. Boom, and we did it. Yep. And all if right. we were outside, we would stake down. We could pull all of these to stake it down so that way when the rain hits it, it's going to hit this and drop down here. We would make sure that our footprint was tucked under the tent and the rain is going to just drop awesome. straight off of it and not get us wet. All right. I feel very accomplished. Thank you for teaching me how to do this. Yeah, it's pretty now easy, we're gonna isn't break it? it down. Yeah, but we're going to break it down to see if we can do it again when they're not watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So any last minute details you want to let folks know before we end this interview? Uh, sign up today. We are closing registration today because I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow to buy food. So gotcha. Sign Marsh up melts. today or watch for other events at Mississippi State Parks. We're trying to get a lot going on. All right. Marshmallows, kayak, tents. Hot dogs. Fire. Fire. All the things. It's going to be a great time. All right. Thank you so much for teaching me this. I'm really excited you came. Yeah. All right. We'll see you Thank in a Thank you for having me. Of course. Cool.